Midnight Suns is the next big thing for Marvel gamers to look forward to, but the title just got delayed. That's sad news, because everything we've seen of the game so far has been super promising. Now, developer Firaxis has a lot of experience making tactical RPGs, so if they say they need more time, we should believe them. Here's everything you need to know about the delay, what it means, and what we can expect. Firstly, let's talk about the delay. Now we're sure we don't need to tell you this, but people are really hyped for Marvel's Midnight Suns. It's going to bring superheroes from all corners of the comics universe into one world, including characters from the X-Men, Avengers, and Midnight Suns franchises. What's more, you'll be able to play as a customizable hero called the Hunter on your quest to stop the Mother of Demons from hatching out her evil plans. In the process, you'll face off against corrupted heroes, villains, and all kinds of demonic monsters. The premise has got fans crazy excited and we can see why. The game looks like it's going to give players the superhero RPG experience they've always wanted. And once you combine that ambition with the dev's history of creating awesome tactical RPGs, things get even more hype-worthy. These guys make the Civilization and XCOM games, so they know what they're doing. But when the expectations surrounding your project are so high, you can end up with tons of pressure on your shoulders. And that's where the delay comes in. Firaxis and publisher Take-Two Interactive were originally planning on an October 7th release date for Midnight Suns. That's not the case anymore, though. Take-Two says they're pushing back the launch to give the devs more time for polish, and it's obvious that the team doesn't want to disappoint all the fans. This is the second time the game's been delayed. Believe it or not, its initial release window was in March of this year. That makes it sound like the team is having some trouble bringing Midnight Suns to life, and the scale of the project has messed up the timelines. Get this. Take-Two hasn't actually announced a new release date for the title yet. They've only said that the game will come out later in the 2023 fiscal year, which means sometime before the end of March next year. It's a pretty major blow for fans, because Midnight Suns had a lot going for it, and considering how the marketing for the game was ramping up, the delay just feels extra cruel. Honestly, the timing could not have been worse. That's because we've been getting fresh new trailers, character deep dives, and game play snippets pretty regularly over the last few months. At this point, fans know how major parts of the game work, and they're just itching to get their hands on it. We've gotten gameplay showcases for playable characters like Iron Man, Captain America, and Spider-Man, and things were looking good for release. In fact, the marketing team released a gameplay video starring Captain Marvel just a few days before the delay was announced. If we're a fan waiting patiently for October 7th, that had to sting. And Considering how much of the game they were showing off, fans can't be blamed for getting their hopes up. We've got a really good idea about how Midnight Suns is structured and what the gameplay is all about. Basically, everything Firaxis was putting out on the internet made it feel like they were close to wrapping up development. That's obviously not the case anymore, since the team says they need more time to deliver the best possible experience for their fans, and it's got fans a little concerned. Even though we've seen a bunch of footage, it looks like development on the game is a little troubled. You don't delay your game indefinitely if production is going smoothly, and this is the second time Firaxis has backed off from a release date. That's pretty worrying, especially since you consider how the devs haven't worked on a project like this before. They've been making Sid Meier and XCOM games for years at this point, and superheroes are a whole new can of worms for them. Just think about it. They're dealing with one of the biggest IPs in history, and it's part of a genre that they've never worked on before. Before. Doing justice to all of Marvel's characters in a strategy RPG was never going to be easy. These delays are just proof of how difficult Firaxis is finding the whole process. That said, it's not all doom and gloom for Midnight Suns. The thing we have to remember is that video games take ages to make. These days, making a big budget title across all platforms can easily take up to half a decade. That's just where the medium is at these days, and gamers have to get used to delays if they want high-quality experiences. At the end of the day, making a top-tier product is what Firaxis is after, and there's nothing wrong with that. We don't know about you, but we're fine with waiting a few more months if it means we get a more positive
polished game at the end of it. No one wants a repeat of the cyberpunk situation. Don't expect any additional content though. The team has made it pretty clear that they're only focusing on polishing and refining the systems that are already there. If anything, we should be worried about them removing content from the game because that's always a possibility in game development. Sometimes devs promise too much and they end up having to remove stuff to meet their deadlines. We'll just have to hope that none of the features from the trailers get cut. There'll still be a lot to enjoy though. Firaxis has said that Midnight Suns is the biggest game they've ever made, and that it's going to offer between 40 and 60 hours of game time to players. Now we don't know about you, but that sounds like a lot of content to us. With the added development time, the studio will probably be able to iron out all the bugs and keep things as fun as possible. So at this point, you've probably only got one question. When's the game actually coming out? Well, the fact that Take Two didn't mention a specific date is probably a sign that they're pushing the release into next year. It's going to have a staggered platform release too. Firaxis is saying that it'll come out first on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series S and X. That means they've scheduled the release on PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch for later. That's a bummer for people still on older hardware, but we've got a feeling it'll be worth the wait. Let's hope Firaxis delivers on its promises. With that covered, here's some other news about what Take Two is up to. Firstly, their CEO just made some worrying claims. Strauss Zelnick says he thinks the United States is in the midst of a recession, and that's going to affect the video game industry in tons of ways. Apparently, the economic situation is hurting the company. In an interview with Fortune, Zelnick revealed that Take Two Interactive are becoming a bit slow in terms of their performance on the market. That's just the state of the US economy. But Zelnick says there's light at the end of the tunnel. The executive believes things will return back to normal towards the end of 2023, and that this slump is only a temporary one. Get this, Take Two says they lost $104 million this quarter. Now that's a ton of money. That's pretty sad news for Take Two, especially since they just merged with Zynga. Let's hope things stabilize soon. Secondly, the publisher is working on a ton of new projects. That's right, even though they're losing money, Take Two is still working hard on a bunch of titles. The Mega Gaming Corporation announced that they have about eight new iterations of previously released titles in the works, and by iterations, they mean remasters, remakes, and different ports. One of these projects is apparently a mobile port of Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy, the definitive edition, while remakes of Max Payne and Max Payne 2 are also on the cards. Fans have been asking for remakes of classics like Red Dead Redemption and Bully, so these might be in the offering too. That's pretty exciting. And finally, Zelnik just gave an update on GTA 6. Tons of fans expect GTA 6 to deliver on the hype once it comes out, and we can't blame them. Rockstar absolutely outdid themselves with GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, both of which were groundbreaking titles. And if Zelnik's words are anything to go by, GTA 6 will do the same. The CEO stated in a recent financial call that development on the sixth installment of the popular franchise is coming along nicely. He says Rockstar is determined to set new creative benchmarks for the entire video game industry, and we believe them. Given Rockstar's track record, it's safe to say that GTA 6 will break new ground for open world games. Zelnik didn't give us an actual release window for the game, so there are probably a couple years left in development. We're pretty sure it's going to be worth the wait though. That's a wrap for this video. When do you think Marvel's Midnight Suns will come out? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.